In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Cobblemon server for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. Okay, once you're in Google Chrome, all you want to do is you want to go to the search bar just like so and just look up the Essential mod. The Essential mod is a mod that will allow us to play multiplayer and from there, we can go ahead and upload mods and play those mods with our friends. So you just want to go to the official essential.gg website. And then from there, it will bring you to a page that looks like this. And all you want to do is you want to press on this blue button that says download. Now, even though Essential is really great, it does have its limitations. For starters, this is not a 24-7 server. It will only work if you're currently actually playing as well. And sometimes the process can be a little bit complicated. But if you guys want a simple plug and play solution, then consider using our partner, Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and quality servers where you're able to upload mod packs such as Cobblemon, Pixelmon, RLCraft with a click of a single button. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. So if you want to create a mod server for Cobblemon, then I highly suggest using Simple Game Hosting. There's also plenty of video tutorials showing you guys the entire process. If this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, but that's enough yapping from me. All we're going to be doing now is we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the essential installer to our desktop. And I recommend that you guys do the same thing as well. If you're not able to see the download right over here, then you can always go ahead and open up File Explorer and then look underneath Downloads. But regardless, you should be able to see the essential installer. From here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just double click on it just like so, and then eventually a menu will appear. All right, once you're done with that, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. So go ahead and press on Get Started, then go ahead and select on Minecraft Launcher. Then go ahead and press on New Installation. From here, you want to give your installation a name. So for me, I'm actually going to go ahead and change the version from 1.21 to 1.20.1. That is the version that Cobblemon actually does work on. And where it says Minecraft version, you want to make sure that it is compatible with Cobblemon. So Cobblemon will work for 1.20.1. Now where it says mod loader, make sure that fabric is selected because it's just easier to work with guys. So just go ahead and select on fabric, then go ahead and press on create and install essential. Now just wait for it to download and it really shouldn't take too long. Okay, once we're done with that, we now need to go ahead and open up a web browser again. And from here, you just want to look up Cobblemon download just like so. And then you want to go to the official Cobblemon.com website. It should look something like this. And then all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press on download over here. Then it is going to bring you to an official download page. Then you want to go to this top menu one more time and press on versions. Then go ahead and find the version of Minecraft you're trying to download Cobblemon for. So remember, we are working with 1.20.1. So that means we need to download Cobblemon for Minecraft 1.20.1. And also make sure that you are going to be using the correct mod loader. So recall, we're going to be working with Fabric throughout this entire video. So there you go. We need to make sure that where it says platform, that fabric is selected. So yeah, this is for Minecraft 1.20.1 and it's also for fabric. So let's go ahead and download it like so by pressing over here where it says download. Then it will now download the Cobblemon mod to your device. But that is not the only mod we need to install. We also need to go ahead and install another mod called Fabric API. And if you don't download Fabric API, then it will not work. So please, what you want to do from here is just open up another tab. And just look up Fabric API just like so. Then it is going to go ahead and look it up. Then go to the official moderate.com uh, website right over here. And it should actually provide you with a download to Fabric API. So you just want to go ahead and press on versions one more time. And then you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see 1.20.1 or whatever version of Cobblemon you are installing it for. All right, so I did find the correct version 1.20.1. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download. Now that you have those two files, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag and drop both of them to your desktop just like so. Okay, it is at this point you should now have all these files. We got the essential installer, which we just used, Fabric API, and Cobblemon. Once we have all this, then all we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. So go ahead and do that really quickly. Okay, guys, then we're going to get something that looks like this. So make sure you're signed into your Minecraft account and make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected. Then go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations and where it says versions. You want to make sure that modded is actually turned on because this is considered a modded version of Minecraft. So here it is, guys. This is the one that we did just install 1.20.1 Fabric Essential. Okay, and you basically just want to go ahead and find your installation right over here which you should be able to find if you do have this box that says modded turned on and what you want to do is you want to go to the right and press on open installations folder once you're over here you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this folder that does say mods now from here, you should already see that we already have the essential mod put in. So just leave that the way it is. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dragging and dropping both the fabric API and cobble mod mod inside of this folder. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of it. Return back to the Minecraft launcher. Go over here to where it says play. 
in the version selector, make sure that the version of Essential that you did install is selected. Then you want to go ahead and press on play one more time. Press on I understand, then go ahead and press on play again. All right, guys, once you're done with that, you're now going to get a menu that looks like this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and add other people as friends. And then from there, we can go ahead and invite them to our game. And we're essentially able to play Cobblemon together and create our own like mini server. So all you want to do is you want to go to the left and press on social. Then you want to go ahead and press over here where it does say add friend and you want to add the username of your friend. So that means that your friends also need to install the essential mod and they also need to go ahead and install Cobblemon and Fabric API like we did in this video. So please make sure to send this video to your friends so that they know exactly how to install Fabric API and Cobblemon. Hopefully this tutorial wasn't too difficult, but you just want to go ahead and add them. Then go ahead and press on add and then they just got to accept your friend request. And then once you're done with that, if you're going to host the world, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on host world. You guys could either choose in a pre-existing world or just create a brand new one. I suggest creating a brand new one. All right, guys. So here we are in our Minecraft world. So in order to start inviting people, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on invite, press on do not show, press on proceed. Then you guys can select the game mode, the difficulty, then go ahead and press on next. And then a list of all your friends will appear and all you want to do is just invite them just like so. They will then get an invite and then all they need to do is just accept it. And then together you two can go ahead and actually play Cobblemon. So I know this process can be a little bit overwhelming. So that's why I suggest using our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. We are able to go ahead and upload mods like Cobblemon and Pixelmon with the click of a single button. If that interests you, then make sure to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later, french fries.